I want to thank all of you, Labor members, union members, supporters, volunteers, knocking on doors, making phone calls, delivering leaflets, handing out at the pre-poll booths. Friends, our issues are starting to bite. Please keep up the great work. We count on all of you. As a movement, we always fight for the future, but we also honour our history. Kevin Rudd is overseas today, but on your behalf, I want to thank him for his example and his service. And how lucky are we to share this room with three of our legends? Firstly, we are joined by a trailblazer for women and girls, a fierce warrior for education, a continuing inspiration for everyone who fights for Labor. Please welcome Julia Gillard. Then we have a man of courage, conviction and imagination. A person whose public life was spent painting the big picture, yet always with working people at the centre. The reason the true believers kept the faith. The one that every other party would like to have, but only Labor has, the one and only Paul Keating. And what can I say about this man? Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Hawke. Bob, there is so much admiration in this hall and indeed in this country for you and what you've achieved. And when you wave your right arm, I realise there is more fight in Bob Hawke's right arm than the whole of Malcolm Turnbull's cabinet put together. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> And to all those great leaders who've gone before, we pledge our determination to maintain some of the core issues which you so valiantly fought for. And indeed, Bob, today we repeat what you said at your campaign launch 26 years ago. Two words. Medicare stays. And amongst so many other distinguished guests, state premiers and leaders, I would ask the Labor Party to please welcome my wife, Chloe, and my family, without whom I could not have led this last three years. <laughs> 